This is a sample of the information provided as part of the flexible training resources available through HACCP.com. Our training courses are designed to provide training participants with an understanding of food safety and quality system elements and also offer user-friendly assessment activities and competency checklists to complete the training cycle. Commercial Sterility Processing Key Definitions for Commercial Sterility Processing Anaerobic Environment An environment in which there is no oxygen is present. Microorganisms that live within this environment do not require oxygen for survival. Aseptic, free from septic matter or disease-producing bacteria. In food processing and packaging, this is a word that describes the system used to package food in sterile manner. Bacterial spores, a bacteria that, because of its thick outer wall, is easily able to survive in hostile environments otherwise not suitable for bacterial survival growth and reproduction. Commercial sterility. Commercial sterility means the absence of microorganisms capable of growing in the food at normal non-refrigerated conditions at which the food is likely to be held during manufacture, distribution and storage. Continuous flow techniques. This is where food items, usually liquid squids, are heated rapidly and held at designated temperatures for a short time prior to being hot filled and sealed into their packaging. D-value or decimal reduction time, the time in minutes required to secure an activation of 90% of the target microorganisms under stated exposure condition. Hermetically sealed, with a hermetic seal. So as to be airtight. Hot fill, containers are filled at high temperatures to ensure continued sterility of the container and product during and after the fill process. Incubation, maintaining an item at the most favorable temperature for the growth of microorganisms. Other environmental factors such as humidity and light exposure may also be controlled for optimum growth. Kill step, a process step at which bacteria are killed. This is most commonly conducted by a process involving temperature and time. Log reduction or logarithmic reduction, this is a, me a measure of how effective a process step such as time and temperature applications are in controlling the target microorganism. Mercury in glass or MIG thermometer. A mercury in glass thermometer is an accurate vacuum sealed glass case temperature measuring device often used for processes involving a retort. Microbiological pathogens. Any microbiological entity including viruses, bacteria or other microorganisms that can cause foodborne illness in humans. Pressure vessel. A pressure vessel is a closed container designed to hold gases or liquids at a pressure substantially different from the ambient pressure. Retort, the application of time and temperature processing for sealed package items within a pressure vessel. Static aseptic techniques, this is where food items are filled at very high temperatures into packaging and sealed. The high temperature at which the product is filled will not permit bacterial growth as long as the, pa the package has not been opened. This process relies on a heat-based kill step prior to packaging. Ultra heat treatment or UHT. UHT is achieved by a treatment involving a continuous flow of heat at a high temperature for a short time such that there are no viable microorganisms or spores capable of growing in the treated product when kept in an aseptic container at ambient temperature. Vegetative bacteria, bacteria that are in the growth and reproductive phase. Not spores. Viscosity. Viscosity is a measure of the resistance of a fluid which is being deformed by either shear stress or tensile stress. For example, interpreting viscosity as thickness, water is thin and has a low viscosity. Honey is thick and has a high viscosity. Z-value. The Z-value of a microorganism is the temperature, in degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius, which is required for the thermal destruction curve to move move one log cycle. Commercial Sterility Processing Development When considering the development, documentation and implementation of commercial sterility processing within food safety and quality management systems, the following information should be considered to ensure effective outcomes. Commercial Sterility How does commercial sterility work? Commercial Sterility Sampling Procedures Condition of Cans Using Canned Foods Commercial Sterility Commercial sterility techniques have been used since the early 19th century to preserve foods. 
early techniques involved sealing foods into glass bottles and boiling the bottles in water for extended time frames. By the mid-19th century, tin-coated steel containers were being used in what would become one of the most prevalent food preservation techniques used throughout the world. Commercial sterility techniques are perfect for preserving foods as foods as they kill and deactivate microorganisms and their spores through structured process controls involving the creation of an anaerobic environment and time and temperature treatments. Microorganisms, many of which are harmful to humans are also responsible for the spoilage of foods. Applying a suitable temperature to foods over a defined period of time breaks down proteins, which are essential components of living cells. This protein degradation kills vegetative bacteria, which is the easy part of the commercial sterility process. The challenge is to kill bacterial spores, which are more robust than vegetative bacteria. Bacterial spores are difficult to kill because they have thick protective walls which increase their resistance to heat, drying, freezing, chemicals and radiation. The kill step for bacterial spores widely defines the modern parameters for commercial sterility. Modern commercial sterility techniques include retorting, sta static aseptic and continuous flow applications. Retorting includes techniques such as canning and pouch retorting. This is where food items are hermetically sealed into appropriate packaging and subjected to specified controlled time and temperature to achieve commercial sterility. Static aseptic includes techniques such as hot fill packaging. This is where food items are filled at very high temperatures into packaging and sealed. The high temperature at which the product is filled will not permit bacterial growth as long as the package has not been opened. This process relies on a heat-based kill step prior to packaging. Continuous flow includes techniques such as UHT. This is where food items, usually liquids, are heated rapidly and held at designated temperatures for a short time prior to being hot filled and sealed into their packaging. The goal of all variants of commercial sterility is to produce foods that remain sterile, sterile whilst their packaging remains intact. How does commercial sterility work? Commercial sterility processing relies on the application of one or more steps at which microorganisms are killed and their spores destroyed. When applying a sterilization procedure such as the application of heat, it is important to consider that not all bacterial spores are killed at the same time. A certain number of bacterial spores will be killed within any given period of time at a suitable heat, but not all of them. This is where the most important factor of commercial sterility processing comes to the forefront. The kill step is independent of the sterilization temperature, it is more reliant on time as a control mechanism. The process through which time and temperature are used to kill bacteria is commonly known as the logarithmic reduction. Because logarithmic bacterial reduction can reach zero, it is never possible to guarantee absolute sterility. In, in this context, the efficiency of a sterilization is expressed by the number of decimal reductions in the count of bacterial spores. The D value or decimal reduction time is commonly used to indicate the killing rate of bacterial spores. A d-value can be better explained as the specific time required at a specific temperature to kill, for example, 90% of bacterial spores, which is the same as reducing their number by one logarithm unit. In short, the d-value is a measure of heat resistance applied to a specified type of bacteria. It is important to consider that the D value will be affected by, and is dependent on the species of bacterial spores involved. The outcome of any heat sterilization process depends heavily on the following factors. The initial number of microorganisms in the items being subjected to the heat sterilization process. The D value of rele relevant microorganisms. The temperature of heat exposure. The time of temperature heat exposure. In some commercial sterility processing applications, more than one temperature and time combination is applied to achieve the required product sterilization. This technique is increasingly utilized to maintain product quality aspects. In such instances, the required change in temperature is known as the Z-value. The Z-value is defined as the change in temperature required to alter the D-value by a factor of one logarithmic unit. Commercial Sterility Sampling Procedures As absolute sterility is not achievable, 
sampling plans with nominated acceptable tolerances are commonly defined for displaying conformance with the method of commercial sterility processing employed. A common example of a sampling plan applied for commercial sterility processing is to apply a maximum acceptable defect rate of 1 per 10,000 samples. In order to determine the effectiveness of the commercial sterility processing methods employed, and to ensure the number of maximum defects does not exceed the nominated target, sampling procedures are implemented. It is common for a defined sample percentage of finished products from each batch to undergo an incubation process to ascertain the lack of microorganisms within finished products. This basically supported the effectiveness of the time and temperature controls of each process batch of product. Incubations are commonly conducted at 37 degrees Celsius or 99 degrees Fahrenheit, an ideal temperature for the growth of any potential microorganisms contained within the process product. Generally, if the products being incubated do not show any signs of bloating or vacuum, it is assumed that the commercial sterility process has been successful. As the methods and techniques used for commercial sterility processing are long established, and have a strong validated and verified history of achieving their intended food safety goals under controlled conditions, products are commonly not required to be microbiologically tested on the scheduled basis. Though the commercial sterility process should always achieve consistent results when conducted in a controlled and verified manner, it is important to consider that analytical microbiological testing can provide substantial evidence of product conformance to commercial sterility standards. Did you know that HACCP.com includes resources that allow you to create, manage and implement GFSI and HACCP-based food safety and quality programs? Improve your food safety and quality skills and knowledge? Train and develop your team to create better food safety and quality outcomes? Find suppliers and service providers to partner with your business? The information and training resources available through HACCP.com include a variety of formats, such as website content, MP4, MP4 and text, MP3, PDF and slideshow. Are you ready to take the next step in your food compliance journey? Visit HACCP.com today to create your profile and access the full versions of our food safety and quality information packages and much more.